Why do Filipinos get uptight about um, people saying negative things about the Philippines? There's a couple of reasons for that. The first one is there's a hierarchy thing. Um, and I've seen this used a lot. Um, where you have what I call the... The I can't I don't like using the word elitist families because they're not elite they're just abusive. Um, those people will shout people down. That's how they operate. Um, they don't like hearing the truth, uh, and they're well aware that pushing people down is the quickest way to silence it. I'm not going to go too much on politics because. Um, that's where all this goes ahead. But at the same time, you then have the average Filipino that's aware of all the crap that goes on. They are aware of it. They hear it. They see it. They know it. They know that um, there's corruption everywhere. They argue with the taxi driver to get the get them to switch the meter on. They they see um, police collecting money from uh, illegal cockfighting pits they see traffic enforcers tra um, looking for a bit of a bit of money they'll tell you stories of people they know that have been stopped by police like tricycle drivers being asked for a, a bit of a bribe for breakfast in the morning they already know all this stuff goes on what they don't like is it being slapped slapped in the face because you've got to remember this is all based on empowerment I don't think the average Filipino has enough influence to make that change. Um, and being back in the UK and seeing all the UKIP stuff, it's pretty obvious the UK has the same issues but in a different way. Um, because people are tired of the corruption in the UK, they're tired of the um, manipulation um, to sue politicians like the expenses scandals where they're le given a little slap on the wrist oh don't do it again uh, pay some of it back not all of it though you know for your second home even though you're living in the same uh, county that you go to um, the House of Commons with they're thieves um, but at the same time would you be happy with a Filipino telling you that your country's a pile of shit <laughs> would you would you like a Filipino to tell you how bad your country's run? Well, you're doing the same. I mean, I know when I talk to Americans about America, they don't like me telling them the truth about the U.S. Um, so that's the, that's the whole point. You know, it's not Filipinos aren't aware of it. It's not Filipinos um, don't care. It, the fact is, they don't know how to change it. And we have lobbyists in all of our countries abusing the countries to the max with corrupt politicians mm -hmm. taking money for bringing things up in um, in discussions and manipulative ways it's the same the world over Filipinos know it's happening in their country but you know what the reason most Filipinos are happy is because they don't let it ruin their day um, there's a lot of angry expats out there that are angry about things at home um, I've taken more of the Filipino perspective these days where it's just like, you know what, they're going to screw it up one way or the other. You know, I think at the moment, the UK is deciding, are we going to stay in the EU or are we going to leave? And if it, I'm thinking either way, it's going to take a decade for them to decide one way or the other. But on top of that, the EU doesn't even exist. Um, it was never signed as an agreement. The Commonwealth and and the um, free trade was agreed. The EU stuff, it's just been made up. They took one thing and just developed it into another without the approval of countries. So <laughs> you could actually just take it to law um, if you could ever find somebody that was willing to take it to that level and not take a bribe for a little seat on a quango or something. Um, but it ain't gonna happen and the Philippines is exactly the same there isn't enough um, leadership 
with enough power to create that change that needs to happen. There's enough. There isn't a person that can influence enough positive change that would change the government for good. Um, in the UK, there's the whole Scottish independence thing, and I just spent two months in Scotland talking to people in Scotland, and I think from watching and talking to people most people aren't really concerned um, they don't seem that um, they're not pushing one way or the other but at the same time it all comes down to the same thing no trust of the government and that's that is the key issue with the, all these countries no trust um, there's no value in it and that that's the same thing in the Philippines you complaining that um, your telcos are crap and it's a cr corrupt syndicate blah 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 it's the same world over um, I believe in the UK Cameroon's father has got some subsidy for these bloody wind turbines it's the same the world over they're crooked they're politicians for God's sake um, it's just a bit more in your face in the Philippines but I would also say most people these days like to see this view they don't like to see the truth um, because it's not nice. So I'll just say, yeah, that's just the way it is. Um, I grumble about it sometimes, but the the more I've been moving away from that sort of stuff, the more I realize it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to create enough change to actually um, do something about it. What I do, um, where I can, is like, I go pay as you go. Um, I don't sign contracts unless I have to. I don't buy things in advance. I don't um, buy things that don't have insurance against it. You know, like a credit card where you can cancel it as a fraudulent transaction. I don't get ripped off where, if I can stop it. And that's the easiest way of doing it it's just actually counteracted because complaining does nothing nothing in a positive way okay thanks for watching